Well, hello there and welcome back to the Hull City Fan Central YouTube channel, where today we do have a brand new signing. Yes, Dukan Sinek has just signed for Hull City. Well, he signed yesterday, but I'm getting the video out to you today because we had the Leicester game yesterday and I was focusing on that vlog. But we do have a new signing, Dukan Sinek. He's in the club and I believe it's mainly to replace that role that Keane Lewis Potter was playing on the left wing. Um, as he is originally a left winger, yet he does play in varying different positions around that attacking left side. Um, especially he's played in left mid um, a few games last season for his previous club, um, Atlanta Spior. Um, I believe that's how you pronounce their club name. Uh, but he's been, he was at this club for four years. Um, where he's played 120 games, only scored five goals. Um, so probably not the not the not the best um, for that. But um, he was mainly um, a playmaker, which is what we need. We at the moment we're running Alia as our main playmaker, and we need at least one more. Otherwise, we're not getting any goals. Even though we've got a very good attack, we're not going to get any goals if we've not got any playmakers. Um, Seri, we saw that in the game yesterday can do it, just needs someone there to help him up because he's playing a bit more of a defensive midfield role at times, which like thwarts the ball from going forwards. Whereas if we get Cynic in, who knows what could happen. We could get balls launched up to Oscar, his, he get his head on it or his foot on it and it, it'll go in. Or same with Alia, um, it may get him a few more goals rather than assists this season. But as I said, he did um, play 120 games at his previous club, scoring five goals. Moving on to his international efforts for Turkey, he did play. He was, he has currently played five games, scored two goals. Uh, before that, he was in the Turkey's under-21 team, where he played seven games, scoring one goal. And then for Turkey's under-19s, he's played seven games and scored one goal. Those are all the uh, records that I have on on record. If you want to. Take it that way. Um, but he's he's a youngish player. I believe he's 22 or 23. So still got many, many good years in him before he comes to his prime. Um, and he has signed on with a deal. Waiting a work permit. But we all know these work permits. They'll take a week and they'll be in. And he'll be ready to play. So it could be um, until the weekend. Until we see him start playing. Because we ha do have two pre-season friendlies come up on Saturday. One away at Cambridge, and then the other one away at Peterborough. So he could play in one of those two games. Um, if if he is going to play in one, I'd like to like him to play in the Peterborough game. Obviously, we'll be playing against our ex-manager, Grant McCann, for the second time. And also against one of our goalkeepers, Harvey Cartwright, who's gone on loan for a season to Peterborough. And I presume they'll put him in net for that game, because I think he's the best goalkeeper at that club. Um, I mean, if Nathan Baxter didn't sign on, he would have been our backup keeper for this season. But do come cynic. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this transfer and what you think it could mean for the club. Obviously, I've let you know my thoughts, so I'd love to hear from you. And make sure that you like and subscribe to this YouTube channel so you don't miss any other content like the vlog from yesterday. I'll have that linked on the screen right now. This has been the Hull City Fan Centre YouTube channel. Goodbye.